Hello, I'm Joel DeVincent, one of the supervisors in the Office for Professional Development and School Supports. I'm here today to talk about the lesson segments of addressing content. We've already spoken extensively around design question two, helping students interact with new knowledge, and design question three, helping students deepen their knowledge. And now we'd like to begin talking about design question four, helping students generate and test hypotheses. The desired effect for design question four is to help students take what has already been learned and help them to participate in real world applications and real world tasks to really take that new knowledge and embed it into their own lives. When we facilitate these types of learning experiences for our students, we really ensure that they're able to make strong and deep connections to the content that's been previously learned and then helps support their learning through those real world tasks and cognitively complex tasks. And it's through this deepening that students really begin to make connections between various chunks of content. The first element of design question four is the element of organizing students for cognitively complex tasks. As you recall, organizing students is found in all three design questions in addressing content. The difference, though, is the purpose for organizing. In this case, in design question four, the purpose is the organizing of students around more complex learning activities and tasks that really are facilitated by the student rather than the teacher. The teacher in these types of situations is that facilitator that sets up the conditions, organizes students around a task or series of tasks, and then allows students the time and opportunity to complete those cognitively complex tasks. And the teacher organizes students for this to happen. Element 22 is engaging students in cognitively complex tasks and generating hypotheses. These activities are very important because they allow students to not only apply the knowledge that they've recently learned to a current context or setting, but also to new settings and new contexts as well. This is the part of design question four in which students are really working collaboratively with other students and are really working towards higher levels of a taxonomy. In this case, knowledge utilization. Students are applying the new knowledge in multiple contexts, answering open-ended questions that have more than one correct answer, and really students in this element are creating knowledge around previous knowledge they've already learned. Element 23 reminds us to provide resources and guidance to students as they're completing these complex tasks. As teachers, we want to make sure that we are supporting students in this very deep learning. It's also important to anticipate the needs of students as they're doing this work. One of the things that we can support students in is the social skills and the interaction skills needed to complete collaboratively complex tasks. Students often need guidance to work on teams to complete tasks. And so this is very important. Additionally, we really want to make sure that all of the resources that students need are available to them. And so those resources really move beyond the four walls of the classroom. And really, we need to be thinking about the digital resources that students can utilize as they're making sense and really deepening their knowledge. In conclusion, the purpose of Design Question 4 is to assist students when applying the new and deepened knowledge in a different context. We want students to be able to take what they have learned a step further and relate that deeper knowledge to their lives. In Design Question 4, students actually participate in real-world tasks and situations. They take what they have previously learned, make predictions about what might happen when applied to a new context. They then test their hypothesis to see if they were correct. 